Spider Zombo. X Spider Zombo. One time Spider Zombo. Now Walking Zombo. And Bleeding Zombo. And now Dead Zombo. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die Alpha 20 Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming. We are playing this game on insane difficulty. The feral sense is turned on at nighttime, but not during the day. And if you didn't catch uh, episode one, well, uh, we just experienced our first death. So I am picking up right where we left off in that episode, and we're going to see if we can possibly survive the night. Hey, but before we get started with that, if you want to join my awesome old guy gaming community, you can find the links to the Discord down in the description of the video, also in the About section of the channel. Be aware that I do also live stream a few times a week. Best thing to do is join up on the Discord where I announce when those streams will occur because my schedule is somewhat fluid. Also, if you want to take a look at the Join button, you can join up for a old guy YouTube membership where you'll get additional perks, including the ability to play on a server with us. Okay, enough of that. Let's get started. So, yeah, we are in a bad shape, uh, in a bad shape. We are in bad shape right now. Uh, we died in the last episode. We respawned right here, and the Feral Sense is on, so I don't know. Uh, we have to try and get back to our bag, and I'm just not sure how things are going to go. So let's jump in and see what happens. Here we go. All right, so we were... Uh, we were trying to get into that house there and they broke through and got to us in the last episode. So I, I started running down the street this way and, um, oh, there's a rabbit and our bag is over there. So the first order of business is to try and retrieve our bag. And I'm not sure what the range of the feral sense is, um, in the single player game, you just turn it off or on. I think that's something that can be adjusted like in a config file for like servers, but I'm not sure what it's set to for single player. So I guess we're going to find out here pretty soon. The good news is that we have full health, full food, full stamina, full water um, from dying. Uh, not that I did that for that reason, but <laughs> hey, if that's what the game's going to give us, we'll take it. Okay, so let's head on over here and see if we can get our bag and then... We might have to jump up on a roof for the rest of the night. Uh, we'll just have to see how things go. All right, there is a Zombo, a fat guy Zombo, right in front of us on the road. The good news about Fatty is he's slow enough for us to outrun. problem with trying to outrun him, though, is we might then run into another Zombo in that process. Oh! That nurse zombie's inside of the trader. That's actually good for us. Um, okay, so I'm pretty close to them, and they still aren't sensing me. Hmm. That's interesting. We did take one point in from the shadows. Uh, speaking of which, we have another point that we need to take, too. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say the feral sense is not quite as... Bat ooh, nice. Not as bad as we thought maybe that it was. Because I would have figured these guys would have detected us. There's a wolf over there. We don't want to tangle with him. I do have a pipe rifle in my bag that we looted in the last episode, and we just picked up some 7.62s. Oh, but there are zombies over there, too. Hmm. Might be a good idea to see if we can get a couple stones to distract.
Okay, we have two zombos moving towards us. Let's throw this stone and see if we can distract them. All right, we got Steve out of the way. Bo is still coming. Let's go. Okay, we got an Edgar over there. Yeah, I would have... I would have thought the feral sense would have been a little more powerful than that. Not necessarily complaining about that, but just kind of voicing my thoughts on the game here as we learn the new mechanics and everything. I need those uh, those little sprite things that they gave us during the quest so I can see where the damn rocks are. <laughs> That was actually pretty useful. Edgar is right where we need to go. Really need to find a stone. Steve is as well. Okay, let's go around this way. Okay, so both of them heard the stone. Either one of them responded to that one. Well, okay, we got rid of Steve momentarily, but not Edgar. Oh, there's another stone right there. Is just is this just coincidental or do they camp your bag now? Come on, Edgar, get the hell out of here. I'm really surprised that I can get that close to them without them detecting me. He just doesn't give a shit about random stones being thrown from the middle of nowhere. Okay, let's lead him lead him away from the bag. And then let's run in. Grab it. Oh shit, there's a wolf. Not good. Not good, not good. Run away. My stupid phone keeps beeping. Quit beeping, phone. This is not a good time for you to be beeping. Okay, Edgar and the wolf are fighting. We got our stuff back. Whew, okay. Let's load this guy up. Put our Kniffy back here. In fact, we probably should make a new Kniffy. Let's just scrap this one. Get these back on here. Uh, let's make a normal bandage. Uh, actually, let's turn all of those into normal bandages. Don't need that crap right now. Uh, let's get that down there and the bandages. Can we make a new bow as well? Actually, you know what we should do? We have one point to spin. Let's just put that into archery, because I think that will serve us well for the early game here. Now we can make a little little bit better bow, just slightly better bow. Okay, let's move back towards our house and just kind of assess the situation. Um, 
I'm gonna take the shoddy shells. The rest of that's not really all that useful to us right now. Did my uh, torch survive? Yes, it did. Good. Let's grab that. So we're gonna need some light for upstairs. Okay, let's do the same thing here where we put the bedroll down inside. And, you know, if we get another feral Hawaiian zombie on us, then it's not going to do us much good, but it was working okay for the normal Zeeks. Okay, so theoretically, these rooms should be cleared now. Uh, let's take a risk. I can't, because I just can't see otherwise. Ooh, there could be zombies in there. Okay, let's put that up there. Nope, we're good. Okay. Chance for some clothes, maybe? Nope. Okay. Let's check this room and this little attic before we check anything else okay we'll search we'll loot later right now we got to secure all right I want I think there's some kind of secret behind here but let's not worry about that right now so we have two more rooms we have to secure but if we can do this first Let's see if we can get these stairs knocked out of here. Then we'll be safer from anything coming down, uh, you know, from down below. Um, I'm going to put this up here for now so we can kind of see what we're doing. Okay, so uh, for now, I'm just going to block that off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we have two rooms that we have to check here. Let's, um, actually, let's just leave that where it is at the moment. Both of these rooms look like they have an opening into each other uh, I gotta grab the torch it's too damn dark for me to see okay well there's a zombie in there <laughs> okay let's put that down and it's a yo zombo okay that takes care of him so um let's We're gonna have we gotta check in this room too. Gotta do it. Alright, no other hiding spots there. Possible zombo in that closet there. That doesn't really tell us anything, does it? Um, I don't like this because I could get caught in that 
that little doorway. So let's do this. Yep, there's a sleeper in here. Can I block this? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. I think we finally secured the house, except for the, the basement, but we don't need to worry about that tonight. So let's... um. Do a little bit of looting here and figure out whereabouts in the house we're going to settle in. See if we can find some clothes. Okay, there's some boots. Take those. A little, little bit better. Bookcase action here. Spear Hunter. Throwing spears at the hit the body. Have a 50 chance to slow the target for 80 seconds. Okay. Um, that could be useful. Definitely could be useful. Some more nails. Let's break this out. It's almost morning, too, which is good. And let's look in here. Got a garment bag with a jacket, which we'll wear. That we're going to scrap. Crash with some clay. Nothing up. Oh, there's another attic in the place. All right. You know what? We're not going to mess with that during the night. Let's wait till morning before we mess with any of that. Let's go loot the rest of what we can currently loot. Uh, a wrench would be nice. We're going to need one fairly soon. Okay. Never mind. A little paper action. Okay. I think that's it for in here. Okay, it's morning. Good. Good, good, good. Let's go back in here for a second. Um, we need to make a shovel. Got my caps lock key on. Right, there's another room in here. Okay. Let's break this. I think this is actually where the fat loots are. Break this too. We get some paper and plastic from it. Okay. Zomba Doodles in here. Is this a secret stash? Hidden stash? Whatever it's called. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Little bow upgrade. And let's just check everything else that's in here. Nothing down there. Okay. That's all cleared. What I think I'm going to do is let's put our bedroll down. Oh, our bedroll's downstairs. Let's go get the bedroll and bring it up here. And we're going to make a, a little ladder to get up here. I'm actually going to put the LC block down here. Because we need it anyways to stop spawns. Okay, let's create a couple of these. That should be good enough for there. All right. We got a dude outside that we need to deal with. Spider Zombo. X Spider Zombo. One time Spider Zombo. Now Walking Zombo. And Bleeding Zombo. 
And now dead Zombo. Okay. Just in case you guys weren't clear on what was going on with him, I had to kind of explain it. Okay, let's grab our bedroll, bring it up here. And I guess what I guess we can at least get started up in this little attic. Um, seriously doubt we'll stay here for a real long time, but we need a place to start, so um let's put this back in here. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we have a safe spawn point now. Um, let's make a chest or three. Um, I'm just going to make two for now, actually. And let's clear this stuff out of the way, too. Okay, can I shape this into stairs? I should be able to. This is the new shape menu. It's pretty cool. Uh, here we go, stairs. So let's grab that and put those there. Oops. All right. Let's get rid of this. And I think I'm going to put a door here as well. Not likely they can get up here, but possible. So um, if they that does happen, we can have a door there, and then we can block this off as needed. I kind of like the frames. I think they're the same strength, um, plus we can see through them. I wonder if we can shoot through them. Let's get this upgraded to at least the second. Oh, we got some iron on us too. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Very good. So now we have um, a place. Let's set down a couple chests. And we're going to... Uh, we went with the fire there. Whoops. Let's do that. Let's make a campfire. I have like a little candle here for some light inside. Campfire can go there. And we've got a grill, so we'll put that there. We're going to have to find a cooking pot still. Very good. All right, now let's put a few things away that we don't need to carry around with us. That we're going to sell. We need to get some water uh, from that. Let's also, speaking of which... Drink some water from there. Okay, I can't. I think we'll keep the rest of this with us. Um, we could drink. Let's drink one golden rod tea, and keep the other one for dysentery. And I guess for food, uh, oh, we can make. Well, we can't make bacon and eggs until we get a pot. Uh, we have the the knowledge to make it, and I got seven eggs, so I'd really like to get a, a cooking pot. That's going to be one of our highest priorities. Uh, okay, cool. So we're we're not doing too bad, you guys. We're not doing too bad. Let's uh, switch those around. Uh, we do have this rifle now, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out. We're going to find some water and look for a cooking pot and sell this to the trader and then go from there. Now we do have, we still have this attic to check out, too, actually. Uh, let's pop our head up here and just see what's going on. I'm sure we're going to run into some zombos up here. There's usually a couple behind. All right. Okay, can we do like a little bit of blocking here? Just so they can't immediately rush us. Okay. Let's see how good this rifle is. Oh. 
bleed for you. A bleed for you. Another bleed for you. And another bleed. And another bleed. You get the idea. Oh, out of stamina. Keep those upgraded. Okay, go down now, Marlene. There you go. That's a good zombie. All right, that worked out pretty good. Okay, these are the fat loots. Uh, looks like we just have trash in here. And give us a bandage, please. Thank you very much. And a steroid, too. I will take both of those. Not bad. Uh, here's the fat loots with some more bandages, some more ammo, and a couple pipe bombs. We all know that I love pipe bombs. It's my favorite. So that's a good find. Some Mo Power electronics. Okay, um, I'm going to keep the battery for when the time comes for the mini bike. The rest of that stuff I think I'm going to sell because I don't really need a speaker thingamadoodle. Not a single player game anyway. Shamway box, come on, give me some food. Thank you, game. Wow. We'll take that. We're going to save this. We don't need to use it right at the moment. Okay, very good. And everything else up here is just boxes. Guess we can harvest this for some cloth. Cool. Does that give us anything? No, it doesn't. All right, so we got the, the attic secured. Um, you know, doing some more harvesting of resources in the house, that's something I can do off camera. We need to get out and about during the day. So uh, we're going to keep that. This is for sale. This is for sale. That I'm going to sell. Looks like I can sell a little. Well, let's keep the gunpowder. Um, keep that here. Keep that here. Keep that here. And I think we're going to take the rest with us. Okay. Let's reload this thing. Freaking awesome pipe weapons, man. I love it. Okay, let's go. Let's head out. Um, there is a basement in this place, too, actually, isn't there? I'd like to get the whole house secured. There might actually be a dog down here. Yeah, you know what? We don't have to do this right now. Let's just let that go for now. Over to the trader. Sell a couple things. And then we've got to find ourselves a cooking pot. That's the next most important thing to do. Love these ditches too, man. They're really cool. It feels more like a real town now. Okay, let's not run ourselves out of stamina. We'll just do little short bursts of sprinting here. There was a, a nurse in the in here last night, but Hopefully she's despawned. Okay. I don't know if there's anything else in here for us to loot. I think we already looted everything that there is available. Um. Okay, let's just leave that alone for now. I left my coin back at the base, but that's all right. Your money is welcome here. There's some coin right there. All right, let's sell this to you, and this to you, and these to you. Well, should we keep those? Nah, I don't think so. We probably should, but, but we're lied, not going to. Oh, quest. Let's get a quest from you. Okay, do you have any jobs? We want to do a fetch that's 398. Oh, that one's only 97. Ex mm, we got to make sure it's task for you, not at you our house, it. though. Godspeed. Okay. All right, so it's over at that farmhouse. Beautiful. Um, we might as well go do it because we need to find a uh, 
cooking pot anyway. So we have a chance of doing that while we go in here to do this place. We did. We actually started this place yesterday, but it was getting late on in the day and I didn't want to keep doing it because it seemed like it was a little much. Um, so let's do it now. Oh, you know what? I should have actually loaded the kitchen first, but that's all right. Okay. Isn't there a Zeke right here last time? No. He was right. Yeah, she is right there. Okay, can we... Look at my guy. Do his thing there. All right. We need to... Let's repair this. All right, let's pop her and then get ready to run. Pretty good. Last time we came in here, there was a snake, too. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, last time there was a Zeke in there, and there probably still is. I can see they're still stupid and don't know that they can just walk right out the door. I need to see if I can get a block in there. So we got a Zombo there, too. Oh, man, did you see his head pop off? <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. So we can't block that. Who do we got here? Arlene, it looks like. Hi, Arlene. She did. Okay. Anything in here? Nope. We're going to have to break this away. There's our satchel. Come on, cooking pot. That is not a cooking pot. All right, I guess that's all that's in here. Really cool, though. Little trailer in the POI. All right, let's hop into the house here. Is this loaded? Yep. Okay, can we block that? Okay, come on, cooking pot. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Ooh, we'll take that, though. Jim. Got another jar. That's good. And some food. Come here. Coming to Papa. All right. Let's see. Can we grab this? Oop, just about had it. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to take this right now. Let's save the chicken ration for just a little bit later on. I uh, don't want this. I think I'm going to scrap that. Well, this kitchen kind of sucks. I wonder, have they made it harder to find um, cooking pots now? 
I guess since we're in here, we might as well keep going through the house. I guess I don't even need to take that off, do I? Okay, um, what do we got going on here? It's a table that's tipped upside down. That isn't going to hang me up, is it? No, we can get out of there if we need to. Possible Zeke in that closet there. Um, oh shit. Nothing possible about it. What? No, don't crouch. Oh shit, I crouched. I didn't mean to. Not good. Whew. Okay. That was close. Okay, we have another Zombo outside. Let's put that there. Okay, this is a little tough because we can't block this door. What shapes? Let's make, say, six more of these. Um, all right, so let me think about this. How do we want to play this? kind of blocked myself in so we're not getting out of here otherwise so I think what we're gonna do is knock her down bleed her and then change places with her okay now we can block the door and we're relatively safe inside the the fenced area here she did. Okay. I'm gonna break this door down so we can actually get the hell out of here if we need to. I'm just trying to get used to the fact that we can't pick blocks up anymore. It does definitely change the way you have to think about the game, you know? I don't, and I, I'm not saying that's a bad thing either. It's just different, right? It's just different. Okay. Now, can we put that in from there if we need to? Yes, we can. All right, let's go back in. Um, I'm going to take one of these now. We're not seriously hurt, but, well, actually, no. Let's, let's go ahead and save it. Okay, so. Um, no zombo in that closet. Wall safe. Yeah, okay. It'll be a little while before we're ready to do anything with that. Okay, so everything's clear down here. Check upstairs. Got a room with a closet in it. Does it have a door we can close? It does not. All right. I'm going to change. Well, you know, it doesn't matter. We'll just keep it. Oh, we can't block that door either. Shit. All right. Can we get. Yeah, we can block it like that. Oops. Yeah, let's get this door closed. Check this. Um, yeah, we'll we'll learn that stuff, sure. Sure we will. No zombies in there, huh? Okay, guess not. Um I'm not really even really seeing anything else in here. Well, let's check it anyway. Oh, sneaky. Okay, we got a backpack with some food in it. I'm glad we decided to come in here. Um, There's some trash. Nothing up there. And is there anything behind here? Nope. 
All right, let's check the next room. What's this? Oh, that was a pile of clothes. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Cut it out. Okay, there's some medical stuff in here. Looks like this is the fat loot's room. Okay, let's check this. Is there supposed to be an... Oh, yeah, we're supposed to go out the door to get in there, I'll bet you. Floors. Oh, shit! Run away! Time to go! Time to go! Time to go! Can we, um, block that? Okay. Whoops. Keep hitting the wrong button. Start bleeding these guys up. Out the door there. Can I block this door? Yes. Get some bleeds on you. Are we okay behind? What's the deal with them, like, bending down like that? That's really weird. Edgar? I need to get a bleed on you. There you go. Stand up, dude. Oh, shot right over his shoulder. Die, Edgar. There you go. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> back upstairs and back in here. Let's check the working stiffs. Okay. I'll take those. All right. We will wear those and we'll take the shotgun shells. Give us some bandages, please. Oh, painting pills are good, too. And a little ammo pile. And this is where everybody was hiding out at. All right, so this house is clear. Let's head over to the trader. You need assistance? You did it. All right, Art of Mining Volume 4. Can craft Blackstrap, a super strong coffee, or a bipod mod? I'm going to take this one. All right. You've got a fetch that's a 401 meters and one that's 396. So let's do that. Ranger station. Okay. Now, let's take a look at your inventory. Will you buy these for me? You will. Look at you. Uh, we wanna... Is there anything else I want to sell him? Uh, he won't buy those unless they're in things at 10, but we'll just take those back to the base. Uh, we can sell this to him because we already have one. You happen to have a cooking pot, bruh? Um, he's got a cooking grill, but not a pot. Son of a gun. Of course he's got a grill. I just sold it to him. Okay. Um, I think uh, that's all we need to do with him. We should eat this. And I think I'm going to eat both of them, as a matter of fact. And let's drink this now. So we're really actually not in too too bad a shape, uh, food and water wise at the moment. So I'm gonna run back to the base, drop some stuff off, and then it looks like our next quest is 400 and some odd meters up that way. But guys, we are out of time. So what we'll do is we will pick up the next in the next episode um, on our way to that new quest location. Um, we really need to find a cooking pot as soon as possible. So that's kind of one of the main things I'm looking for at the moment. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.